side of this circle, and every single team are gonna have to try and make their way oh, through. Another grenade coming on through. Will it connect? A little bit too far, but still, Alex, uh, a little bit put too low right there. He's gonna have to be very cautious. Another grenade. They literally have no idea, but they're getting shots fired yeah. in the back right there from RG Star Team. Look at the star on this church. Uh, storm this church over. So gonna have to see how this fight actually does pan on through. PLM, all the teams are fighting. It's just so much going on at the same time. It's really hard to follow through. It really is because, as I said, we're seeing this kill feed absolutely light up. Now, we've seen Omen Elite and X and X Quest F have pinched Pittsburgh Knights in a situation where Pittsburgh Knights are down to one player, with which is Jagger. So that's not looking too good for them right now. As a side of RG, they're down to three players. Yaltian got taken out earlier on. AK... Aim locker and that third player looking to try and keep their hopes alive of getting into the top five to securing a spot in the global finals next week. Pachinki area finish for game one of a wrangle in today's games. I feel really bad for top esports. They had that church, it was in the next circle. Yep. They had no idea they gave it up to fight Team Secret and RD Star Team. Well, that's a rebuilding right there. It's going to be ours now. We'll take in dibs on the church. They're, they're just going to camp it. They're going to look to yeah, um, build a wall, so to speak. It's a high ground and a tall building. Exactly. And it's got so many openings. You can be super unpredictable when you're peeking through and trying to take high ground yep. on teams. It's such a good area for this circle. It really is. As a grenade went through to try and catch out the side of Team IND. But the f small fear is that a couple of grenades into that church could put RG under pressure. But the benefit for RG is that there is quite a lot of space that they can move around. They can dodge it. So yeah. they can kind of dodge them going through. Plus, as you said, they have the high ground. So it's going to be tough for IMD to kind of storm that compound. Deformia keeping their hopes alive on the southwest side of the circle. Team top. Looking to take down Purple Mood. We see what Purple Mood can do to keep their compounds alive, but they're being put under pressure. One member has been knocked down now. Team Top are going to push on through. They didn't have the circle. They have to do something, and that's going to be something against Purple Mood. They're trying to get those knocks and flushes out of the way. There it is. Nice job from them. But now, be careful. CZ and Narwin, they're on the side. They were not in the same compound, and now you're going to have to deal with another fight. Grenade coming on through. Kobe on top of Kohi. And now, now in CZ, they're looking to try and flush that kill away. Only Sangman is left on the side of top gaming. So they're going to have a really harsh time. He's turned into a 1v2. He's got to try and regen them back up. Do not fight. There's no oh, reason top man. from Korea can pull on through. That was a really good positioning, actually, from the from their side. On a side note, you were saying about holding on to that church compound. Team IND, they came on through and they eliminated RG Star Team. So the team from India coming out on top, keeping the hopes of India alive in the preliminary finals, looking to make their way through the standings as we get through this game. Purple Mood we saw early on Sanha. Even though they're not full team, they can do absolute miracles and take over some yeah, full but team look at place. This, like Looking at the Molotov coming through. Also the grenades, a lot of unity getting used this early on, even though we're towards the late stage. Wow. But when you potentially going to have like an open area ending, yep. those smokes are going to be so impactful. Using them right now, it's going to be like coming to bite you back where I'm like, thinking. There's still 11 teams. There's still 28 players alive. We're in phase six, Max, man. Phase six and there's that many players alive. 11 it's teams. ridiculous. That means the most teams are not full squads. That's a mm. really big section of it. Yeah. Um, be careful as team... Uh, no, but Monster Shield, the, the winners, one of the winners of their angle yesterday getting taken away. Yep. So no second chicken dinner for you, my friend. Jagger, we saw him earlier on the spotlight. One very confident player for the Pittsburgh Knights. But he's a little bit lonely. And uh, NA versus NA, one of those teams will come out alive. The other one in defeat. See, and here's the thing. Because we're in phase six and a lot of teams went in from the south side, we're seeing a lot of teams... A lot of these teams died to the play zone, which is a little bit of a shame. But the side of top esports taking down teams, team top looking to camp out the this circle, teams. looking to keep them alive as the phase seven circle shift went again northwards. Omen Elite, they have a good spot. X Quest F, they have a good spot inside the circle. All the teams around down set the likes of Team Seeker, Top Esports, or Rejection Gaming, they have to try and make their way through while firing off against each other. 
Top Esports, they have the high ground. They're going to finally finish what they engaged earlier and finish off Team Secret. That's going to be a smoke coming on through. Maybe a little bit too late. They see him. He's prone down. Yeah. Nothing can really do. That's a prime opportunity to get those headshots, get that extra burst damage, and take them out. Team Secret, sixth position going their way. Like, top Esports looking damn good. In the space of two minutes, we went from 11 teams and 28 players to five teams and 14 players. Couldn't half. Maxwell, the players in this game have been cut in half in the space of two minutes. Omen Elite, they are on two kills. Pittsburgh Knights, they are on two kills. X-Quest on five kills. Look at those graphics, they look so good. That was such a good shot. Thank you very much, production team. I love it. Oh, and that runs on a mobile game. I know, right? That is just top-notch gaming right there. Play where you want, when you want. X-Quest Def, still a little bit split. You have Cool Boy, the coolest of the big boys. Staying around with those high scores, those high kill points. And he's trying to take that fight versus Omen Elite. Omen Elite staying prone down, trying to take their time, not getting scouted out. But they're using a lot of utility, but Jagger, Blowing Wolf doing some work, but might be scouted out by Outsider that's just behind that tree. Grenade coming on through, a little bit of extra damage output, a lot of utility, as I said earlier on the fight. White Cat going to be facing on through, but this is starting to be a snake ending Imperium, and I'm loving it. Jagger does knock down the member of Omen Elite outside her 9k without being exposed himself. That is fantastic play from this lone wolf of Pittsburgh Whoa. Knights securing the frag. All Rejection Gaming is going to be put under pressure from X Quest F. Jagger is once again on a kill streak. As I said, this lone wolf, this man on a mission to put Pittsburgh Knights as high up as they can in the standings, in the placement points to try and get into a top five situation. The amount of trees and rocks are getting reduced to a really low number, and it's just not going to be enough. But look at that, X Quest F, four members still in the last circle. That's going to be extremely important for the next fight to come. On the side of the circle on your left there, you do have... Omen and Elite also looking good with three members and only four teams still remaining and it's extremely close. And uh yeah. we need to, we're not we there need to yet. be a little bit good. No, we are. We're not there We've yet. got four teams, we've got eleven players alive. We've gotta stay quiet, otherwise the players will hear us. And they're snaking around. Careful, God doesn't love knows what I do. What are you doing indeed? It's X Quest F. Cat looks for shots off on this side of Omen Lee. They took a bit of a risk getting that vehicle, but they're trying to use it for cover. A grenade is going to go out. It does connect onto Memo, and he gets knocked down. However, that vehicle is still going to be there. It's still going to give Omen Lee a chance to get into this circle. The member of Top Esports does get taken out. That's going to be them being taken out right now. But the match has ended, and X Quest F are the winner winner chicken dinners.